Hi, my name is Morgan Rauscher, and I sculpted this artwork out of recycled bicycle components and used a chainsaw so that you could sculpt things out of wood using video game controllers. I'm going to take you through a short video series of how I made this, and uh, hope you enjoy. In this video, I'm going to destroy a kid's bike. That's right, I said destroy a kid's bike. Now you may be wondering, why would you want to destroy a kid's bike? They're so little, so cute, and so charming. Well, the truth is I don't discriminate when it comes to recycling bicycle components. Kid's bike, adult's bike, or just about any kind of bike. First things first, I put on my safety goggles and mount the bicycle into the vise. Next, I chop off the handlebars. Then I chop off the front forks right at the frame. The front forks were used for a swivel assembly for the arcade game controllers. They were welded to a steel plate and fastened to the top of the robotic arm container. This allowed for the controllers to move side to side and up and down. Next up, I removed both of the foot pedals. Then I disconnected the chain guard to reveal some critical components, the gears. Bicycle gears are very strong, very useful components that can be used in projects of all kinds. In this case, I broke down the bicycle gear assembly and I redesigned the gear assembly so that it could be used to rotate the chainsaw tool at the end of the robotic arm. The rotation of the chainsaw tool proved very useful. It allowed for special maneuverability and the eighth degree of freedom. Back at the metal shop, I was sure to put the components I didn't use into the recycled metal bin. Next up in this series, find out how I created an impact sensor using a regular doorstop. Get more details on the chainsaw installed at the end of the robotic arm. And get special details about the vibrotactile feedback controller that I designed that literally allows the user to feel the robotic tool. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this video.